the, what, are the, what are the things, how can I sort of distill into just a few f words or a phrase uh, how I think about business and, 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 how I, and how I act and behave? And of course, that's a very American thing to do, which is to distill things into a slogan or into a series of initials or something like that. But really, the more I thought about it, I really came around to three words, which are not, in my sense, linear. They're sort of circular. Um, and, and they, they are the th these three words, believe, listen, act. And as I said, that's a circular uh, issue, because in order to, to be an entrepreneur, at the very base of it, you have to have an act of faith. You, you have to believe. You have to believe in your vision. You have to believe in your opportunity. You have to believe in yourself. Um, and, and without that belief, that, that act of faith, that passion around whatever vision it is you believe in, really there's no chance of success because there's so many roadblocks and so many difficulties along the way. And, and certainly on a larger scale than, than all of you have, have at least initially uh, encountered, but it's frankly no different scale to scale. There are different issues. The same thing was true when, when, uh, when we wanted to buy Warner Music. Everybody said, the music industry is dead and gone. Why would you ever want to do this? And I had to convince myself, but I also had to convince my partners that it was, that was the right thing to do. And if, if you don't believe it, if you can't passionately make the case, uh, you can't convince anyone, and you can't convince them if you don't feel it yourself. But the second thing, which is to listen. And by that I mean, uh, well, someone once said to me, and I thought it was a great phrase, it's very hard to listen while your mouth is moving. Uh, and, and that is true. But, but the second part is, no matter what you believe and no matter how much you believe, there has to be rigor around what you commit to doing. So you've got to listen to the market, to the customers, to the facts, to the situation. Because belief without rigor is just uh, a, a, a belief. Uh, but it won't, actually, uh, it, it won't actually matter very much. Uh, and you, won't, you will not then act in the right way if you haven't properly assimilated all the facts surrounding whatever vision or dream you have. And the third issue, which is to act, uh, you know, it, it sounds obvious, but in fact, Inertia is the strongest force in the universe. It is actually very hard for people to do something different than what they're used to doing. It may be the hardest thing, uh, generally, for human nature to adapt and to change, to actually take action as opposed to watch others take action. And that is fundamentally the difference between leaders and entrepreneurs uh, and everyone else. It's not that leaders necessarily have better ideas or entrepreneurs have better ideas. It's just that they act on them. And that's a huge leap of faith. So in, in order to act, you have to believe. And in order to believe, you need to listen. And, in order to, and then once you've listened, you need to act. And that's why I say it's a circular, it's a circular issue.